Arizona 212. Which is the percentage of fractured faces, of the coarser aggregate. It's run on plus number eight material. The amount that you need is uh, at least 500 particles. And you don't have to count each particle to make sure you have 500, but you have to be reasonably assured that you have 500 particles. First thing you're gonna do is weigh this. You weigh it to the nearest one gram. And then under a magnifying glass with uh, adequate light, you're gonna check each piece to determine if it's fractured. A fracture uh, is defined as an angular, angular broken surface of an aggregate particle cr created by crushing, by other artificial means, or by nature. A face is only considered fractured if it has sharp and well-defined edges, and the projected area of the fractured face is at least 25% of the maximum projected area of the aggregate particle visible, considering, considering the particle's outline at all possible orientations of the aggregate particle. What that means is that these part, these, part, these uh, rocks have many faces. You look here, there's a face, turn it around, there's another face, keep looking around. Any, if any one of those spaces has 25%, at least 25%, and it has sharp, well-defined edges, it's considered a fracture. Now some we have that are obviously not fractured. This is round, no fractures on it at all. That would be considered non-fractured. You separate the fractured from the non-fractured. Here's one that is obviously fractured. You have fractures on all the different sides here. It's sharp and well-defined. Then you get into some that are questionable. This one here has an obvious fracture, but it's no longer sharp and well-defined. So that would be considered a non-fractured surface. Also here we have one that has some fractures but there are a couple of places here that are sharp and well-defined, so I would call that a fraction phase. You would check each piece underneath the magnifying glass with adequate light to determine if they're fractured. At least one, one face has to be fractured to be considered fractured. Each particle has to be checked to make sure to check to see if it has a fractured particle. You separate those that are fractured from the non-fractured. After every piece is checked, you're going to weigh the fractured particles. You weigh that to the nearest gram. Then you can do your calculations to determine the percent of fractured particles. And that's that procedure. Please be sure to read all of the materials available in your Soils and Aggregate Technician Certification Workbook.